What up, Blockheads? Today we are going to be putting some Trap Moto foot pegs on the Harley Davidson Lowrider S. All right, so pretty easy stuff here. I don't have the uh, normal clevis style pegs, right? They're just uh, going through this bolt right here. So all we're gonna be doing is taking that bolt out, saving that hardware, and putting the new pegs on. So these are the stock Harley ones. Um, now, I don't know if you guys have experience with these. If you've ridden a Harley, obviously you should. But uh, what happens is if your feet get a little wet, um, or like if you're stopping in the road and you put your feet down and in the center part of the lane there's like oil or anything and that gets on your shoes or your boots what happens is if you put that up here they get really slippery so upgrading to some pegs from dk customs thank you dk customs if you guys are interested in uh, any of the products that i'm using you guys can find it in the description down below These things are pretty, and they are quality, man. They are really heavy, really quality pegs. So let's go ahead and get started putting these things on. All right, so you're gonna start by obviously unbolting that. It's a Torx bit and regular bolt on the other side, or nut, sorry. Just to know how that little, um, I forget what they call this. It's like a spring clip or a spring washer. It's got a little bit of a bend to it, so it keeps it locked in, but that goes in there like that right there. So the curved end downwards, flat end towards the bike, just like that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna get the new peg. You're gonna take that uh, washer thing, and you're gonna put it on the bottom here as you insert it, and then push a bolt through. Also, just to note, this nut does have a little, um, it's like that plastic locking piece on the, uh, on the inside of it, so it'll lock in. That's it. Super easy. Much more grippy. It actually tucks them in a little bit, so it should give you a little bit more of a lean angle, but uh, be careful, obviously. And uh, yeah, so we're just gonna repeat, do the same thing on the other side, that's it. Huh? All right, so get this. As you just saw, this piece was actually backwards. I don't know if that was a manufacturer error, but basically what I did is I took a, I took a 3 16 Yeah, and basically angled so that it would be correct. So um, yeah, now it'll sit in here and it'll fold upwards and not downwards, so. All right, so if you guys come across this, um, just to give you a heads up, if it is kind of loose in there and it doesn't fold up and it's just like really super loose, basically all you have to do, this is, it's called a spring washer. I can't remember if I called it that earlier, but if I didn't, spring washer. So all you have to do is adjust the tension on that. Just bend it in a bit and then just double check. Much better, not all loose like it was earlier. Perfect. All right, that is it. Congratulations, you've just installed uh, new foot pegs on your motorcycle, your Harley Davidson. Easy stuff. And they look much better than the uh, stock pegs. And they will function better than the stock pegs as well. Probably tighten that one up a little bit. 
Anyways, if you guys have any questions on it, be sure to post up in the comments below. I'll answer to the best of my knowledge. If you guys enjoyed the episode, be sure to hit the like button down below. If you guys aren't subscribed already, be sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button as well. And until next time, you guys ride safe out there. Stay vigilant. And I will catch you all later. Deuces. <laughs>